yesterday we spoke about handling competing priorities earlier we have spoken on two things that i find relevant today one we had spoken about creating time abundance and the second we had talked about leveraging our teams and our people around us our environment in creating more time today in tip number 19 let's talk about raising time abundant children let us look at the bigger picture one when you are going to create or raise time abundant children you are going to invest into the next generation being time conscious and second thing is that you in your lifetime if your children in your family become time conscious and do things efficiently your time and your complete family time becomes better utilized right so therefore let's talk of a couple of things that we can do to make children's time utility a part of their life i will talk in numbers first num thing i want to talk about is the fact that we have to remember the children don't do what we tell them to do they do what they see us do so therefore whatever you want your children to do you should be doing the same thing you can't be telling them not to be on mobile phones when you are mo on mobile phones all the day you can't tell them don't watch the tv when you are watching tv all the time so therefore remember this number 2 is uh you must remember that getting up early in the morning can be a very good habit to inculcate in them because they will then use their prime time that early holy hours or we call prabhat vela uh, 5 am to 8 am and tony robbins and robin sharma call it the 5 am club if you do that and uh, make them good uh, you know create good habits which we have also spoken of earlier you will be overall uh, sharpening their axe towards creating more time the third thing i want to talk about is they divert their minds divert their attention from the screen time to play time let them do more stuff uh, in terms of their hobbies let them do gardening painting poetry uh, singing dancing all those things which take them away from the devices the next is that we must realize that the future of the ai and the robotic world gives us a signal that the best way the children can be raised well is if they inculcate three things which will be really good skills for them innovation imagination and creativity encourage them to be more creative give them more opportunities give them more facilities to be creative and allow them that space to be creative to be innovative right the next which may sound funny is allow them space for boredom because boredom is the nursery of growing ideas so do that it will be good it is also important for the children to see the processes let them get used to nature uh, for example when i was in the, my camp i used to ask the children to plant uh, you know seeds and then they used to see the seeds growing into plants so sometimes they came back to see the plants having uh, grown or they saw other schools children's plants growing there and one day i still remember that there was a family of about 5 6 with 5 6 kids who came and they had not had lunch and it was about 3 o'clock and the kitchen closed so i told them i said would you like to have some lady fingers today come we'll go and pluck them oh they were excited they had never seen a garden like that before so when we went and plucked the uh, the lady fingers 
they were so excited because I allowed them to pluck them. And then they came and they, along with the cook, they cut them, they washed them, cut them, and then the cook cooked it for them. But they enjoyed that lady fingers vegetable uh, with their food that day to an extent that I can't tell you because they felt that they saw that lady finger, they plucked it, and then they were eating it. Allow them these a little, little niceties of life and get them used to nature. And when you're talking about nature, I think the most important thing today is make them environmental friendly. Children right from the beginning should know something about plastics, about uh, animals, about ants, about, you know, about living beings and make them aware of the pollution and things like that. Let them form good habits so that they become environment friendly children. Do you ladies and gentlemen see that this is one area we never thought, think of, but give it a little deeper thought that do you think children being time abundant children will create a lot of abundance of time, not only for themselves, but for all of us. So action, take your notebook and start writing at as many as you can ideas on what you have not been able to do and you want your children to do. And then while inculcating those habits in children, remember, you will have to practice it with them. Thank you and hope you continue seeing these tips and writing down your uh, notebook. And please share your experiences, your comments with us and wait for tip number 20 tomorrow.